Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Night Security. Now, this is the new Chillers Art game, and of course, Chillers Art make a selection of games, everything from the convenience store to last year's bathhouse, which of course we played around September of last year. This is their brand new game where I believe we play as a security guard in a haunted building. So we're going to dive straight into this today, guys. This is going to be a one and done game. We're going to play through the whole thing in this video, and there are apparently two endings, so I will try and get both of those endings in this video too. So with that said guys, sit back, relax, and let's dive into our adventure as a security guard as we venture through this haunted building. Alright, we're waking up. I think we fell asleep on the sofa maybe there. Here we go. Yep, fell asleep on the sofa after a long shift. This is our house. Wow, that's a big Lego set. Is that even Lego? Is that even Duplo? <laughs> Because uh, Duplo is always bigger than Lego, but that's some uh, extravagant Lego right there. Okay, so we can examine stuff by clicking on it. It goes to a weird camera angle when we do that. Uh, what about this? It's our dinner. Okay, looks like we had some kind of sushi in a stew there. Uh, oh, 10.22, Chiller's calendar. Happy birthday! Oh, it's our birthday today, the 23rd of October, I'm guessing. Okay. It's a rainy night outside. Right, so, anything else in this apartment? We walk very slowly, by the way, guys. The walking speed is uh, a tad slow. Family portrait by the look of it. Well, not a portrait, a kid's drawing. So we've obviously got a dad, their child, the mom. That's our family. Don't know if they're about. What's in here? Laundry. It's weird, yeah, it snaps to this weird camera angle when you... Uh, Kind of examine stuff. Don't think there's anything particularly interesting in this house to look at. Toilet, of course. Oh, we've got someone in the bed. Looks like our wife. She's sleeping. Yep, sound asleep. We won't disturb her then. Maybe we're about to go on shift, right? Because we're the night security, of course. We're changing into our uh, security outfit here. There we go. Is our child in this room? Yes, there's our little girl asleep. Got her cuddly toy there, little chinchilla from Chiller's Arts. Okay, I guess we get going. Heading off to work. See you later, honey. We're off. Or maybe we're not off. What do we need to find? Oh, we got a birthday cake. So she's seven years old. I think this is our daughter's birthday cake, maybe? Okay, now we can go. That's very strange. We had to examine the birthday cake before we could leave. Now we're leaving. Sounds like we're going out to the car. Drive into work. Yeah, here we go, guys. We've got to work. Man, hopefully we've got our raincoat, right? It's a downpour outside. All right, let's get inside the building. Here we go. October 22nd, security guard. I'm guessing that's age 35. 35-year-old security guard try and get inside the building. You can't even run in this game, by the way. You can just walk, like, really slowly. <laughs> There's no run button. I don't know if this is, like, Tokyo or something, but some kind of uh, Japanese city. Let's get inside the building. Oh, my God. What was that? That was a person. Maybe someone else working here, right? The surveillance room is on the right. I have to check my job. All right, we can't go in and follow them. Maybe that's a good thing. So here we go. We've got something here, notes. Check the fire alarms in the back rooms and lock the doors. Turn off the lights in the bathrooms and if people are still present, send them home. All right, that's our objective. That's the clock. The hands on the clock point to midnight. So it's the stroke of midnight, okay. Here's the cameras. Looks like there are still some people here. For now, I should go around and lock the doors, starting from the first floor. Alright. I lost contact with Keigo Ichigi, who used to be a security guard for this building. He probably quit. I'm going to rely on you from now on. This company apparently has a rule prohibiting any overtime at work past midnight. Check the clock, surveillance monitor and security details before you make the rounds. Best regards from manager Yamamoto. Okay. Well, we've done all that, I think. So now we can check around, I think. Alright, gotta lock these doors up. Hold E to lock. 
Haven't finished patrolling yet. Okay, so we have to check for rooms first. Have a quick look around. Do we see anyone? Oh, this. No abnormality. We have to check all the fire alarms, remember. Anyone here? Oh, yeah, there's a guy. Hello. He's drinking his uh, soft drink there. Oh, you're the new security guard. Why is he looking at the ceiling? Is it time already? I guess I'll force arrest on my subordinates tomorrow. See ya. Alright, see ya, man. Now get out. That's right. Off you go. Very slowly. Is he gonna leave? Yep, he kind of just walked through the door there. Alright, cool. Need to go and check this fire alarm. Make sure it's okay. No abnormality there. Good. We can keep going. Anything down here? We've got an elevator. Let's lock the room first. Okay. Got to do the rest of the rooms first before we can head to the elevator. Anyone in here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. We've got another fire alarm. Check that. It's fine. Ooh, a clank. Anyone in here? Nope, this is all good. What about in here? Was this the room I was already in? I kind of, uh, can't tell. No abnormality. No, this is a different room. They just look the same. Right, I'm locking the doors, guys. This is our second task, to lock all the doors. There we go. We'll turn the lights out as well. There we go. We just turned off the last light, guys. I think I had to do that. I think everything's done now. We've turned off all the lights. Oh. Right. Now we're bringing the elevator down. I think because we've locked all the doors up, we're allowed to bring the elevator down. And now we head up to... The second floor, I guess we have to lock all the doors on the second floor. Here we go. This is kind of cool. It's, uh, it's spooky, you know, walking around this building. But we've done a good job. We've locked up all the first floor, turned the fire alarms off. Or checked them, I should say, not turned them off. Floor two, okay. Are we going to do the same on floor two? Just lock the doors up. Just checking if anyone's here. Ooh, what the heck is this? Little TV. I don't see anything on the screen. Oh. What the heck is this? Someone working at a computer? You're still doing this? That's tough. Well, I'm leaving. Good luck. That's strange. That was very uh, non-informative. It's like a, a lady talking to somebody as they were working. Hmm. Oh man, we've got somebody through here. Who is this? Right, it's just uh, this lady. Let's speak to her. Wow, she kind of looks scary. <laughs> what is it? Oh, are you perhaps... Hmm, you're cool. Let's exchange contact information. Hey, you're a bit uh, up front there. Don't know if I feel... Comfortable doing that. I can't leave you unless you give me your contact information. I promise you won't regret it, love heart. Man, she's kind of desperate. I'm not going to lie. She's doing all this to random guy. Unless she knows us. <laughs> hey, I'm a married man. She goes, uh, you better not ignore me. Goodbye. And off she goes. I thought she was going to walk through the wall then. I was like, what the heck? All right, we got to check these fire alarms. We'll just kind of glaze over that. Because, uh, yeah, she was very full on. She simps for us, right? Right, we don't need to do anything with that. Let's lock this door up. Nice. Check this fire alarm. Looks like it's fine. Lock this. Lock this. I haven't finished patrolling yet. Oh. Oh, yeah, because we've got to do the fire alarm. There we go. Now we can lock it up. Okay, lock. 
That's all good. Let's check the bathroom. What? Who? What do you want? Oh, the security guard? Can you please leave a light on? I'll turn them off. Hell no. Ah, oh, if I could turn it off, just gotta troll them. You can't. Anyone in here? No? Good. Right, we're done. Let's lock this door. Hey, gives you that little satisfying sound to say you've completed your shift. So now we have to head back to the elevator, I assume, and we take it to the next floor. So, give that a click. Now we're going to floor three. Hey, there's 11 floors. I guess this game is going to take us to 11 different floors then. Okay, here we go. Floor three. I'm kind of nervous, guys. We must continue. Anybody in here? No? There's a fire alarm to check. It seems to be getting a little darker each floor as well, you know? Can I reach over to that? Yeah, no abnormality. Good. It's so confined in here. Alright. What the heck? Man, there's people making a ruckus. I'm locking this down. No one can get back into that room then. I'm going to lock this side as well. Man, I do not like those sounds. Oh, we got another, another screen in here. Let's watch this. Another surveillance tape. Somebody working again by the look of that computer. You better have these done by tomorrow. What are you looking at? It's got a bit distorted. We can't see what they're saying now. Or hear what they're saying, I should say. Oi, are you listening? I wonder if this is about a worker that went crazy. Might be that woman, because she's like, pretty, uh... I don't know, she wasn't acting normally, you know? Right. Let's... Hold E. Let's turn these lights out. Oh my god, I didn't even realise she was there. Hey, you can't be here. Oh my god, I don't have to go through there, I hope. Why is she still, like, lurking around the building? Why did you turn the lights off? Wait, you're on the floor below, right? Didn't I ask you to leave them on? How have you got upstairs? Did you teleport through the floor? Man, I reckon this is the ghost. It's got to be the ghost, right? We're angering them. Let's see if we can go through this door or not. We can't go through it, guys. There we go. All right, we've locked all the rooms up, guys. We can head back to the elevator now. We're going to floor four. Let's see where this crazy game takes us next. Here we go. Fourth floor. And... To the fourth floor we go. Four F, here we are. Oh, it's printing some pages. Someone's been, uh, I don't know, somebody's work been working late, guys. Somebody's been working late. That's all it is. Okay, this is getting spooky. Let's check these rooms quick. Oh, man, they're all confined now. What the heck? All right, fire alarm. Check. Check it. It's fine. No one's there. It, it's, <laughs> guys, what the heck? Can we pick up these pages? Someone's like, making a, a right mess. What is this? It's a busted light. Oh, it's just a light falling off the ceiling. That's completely normal, by the way. That, that just happens. I'm locking the door. Check that door, that's fine. We'll lock this other door as well. 
There's a flashing light down there. That probably means we're about to get a jump scared or something. I'm checking this room for... Oh, hello. Haven't seen you before. It's you again. Wait, did we see you? My boss wants me to finish work by tomorrow. There's no way I can finish all of this. I never thought being a working adult would be this tough. They even told me to clock out on time. They've got to be kidding me. You're the only one who knows how hard I work overtime every day. Seeing you boosts my mood because it means I can go home. So, I guess I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Yeah, it's time to get out of here, man. You can't live to work. You know, work to live. That's my motto now. Off you go. Shoo. Off. Be gone. Good. Go home to your wife and kids or... Just... <laughs> I don't know if you even have a wife and kids. What is that sound? I have no idea. You know what I'm doing? I'm checking this fire alarm, which is fine. No abnormality. I'm going out. I'm locking these doors. Lock this. Right, check the bathroom goes. The fluorescent lights are flickering. Yes, I know. I need to replace them. All right, replace it then. I have to replace the bulbs. Who is that? Man, this is actually spooky. What the heck? I'm locking this door up. I have no idea what I'm even doing anymore, guys. I know I have to replace the fluorescent light. I don't know how we do that. I'm going in here. I've turned the light out. Um, how are we going to find something to replace the, the light bulb, then? Is this thing this way? Ah, yeah, look, we've got some fluorescent lights. Obtained the fluorescent light bulb. Let's go and change it. And let's get out of here. Right, here you go, new bulb for you. Hey, that's our fourth floor complete. No ghostly sightings this time. Okay, off we go. Floor number five. This is kind of cool. This is like, um, you know, every floor you get something different. I'm wondering, like, what the next one will be. Is it going to be, you know, progressively other, more otherworldly as we go? Yeah, because look, this floor looks um, more dilapidated, doesn't it? It looks kind of almost like it's got, like, water damage to the walls. But you wouldn't expect to see that in... Um, in like a high-rise building on a fifth floor. It's a little dark on this floor. Let's go check the electrical room. All right. Can do. Is it this room? Yes, an electrical box. The fuse is missing. So we're looking for a fuse then. Oh man, look how dark it's gotten, I've just realized. So crazy. All right, what's this? The lever won't budge because there's no power. Let's find a reason. Well, we already know what the reason is. The reason is we don't have a fuse. All right, so we've got to get the lights working before we can do any of our tasks, guys. So what we're going to want to do is go and find the fuse. Now, there's a red room over here. Red rooms are never good. Can I go in? Okay, we've got a river of blood. No, it's really claustrophobic in here as well. Which way? Guys, which way, man? I hope that woman isn't in here. In fact, you know what? That woman can be in here. It's fine. She was just fangirling. We we just don't want some kind of monster in here or something that's going to scare the hell out of me. Alright, I'm just going to navigate around this stuff and hope for the best. I feel like a jump scare's coming and I don't handle them well. Um. Okay. I'm not seeing anybody yet. We've got a girder. Very normal. Just looking for a fuse. Just looking for a fuse. We've got a dead end again, man. I don't understand where I'm meant to be going. <laughs> It's just a complete maze. Oh, this looks like it could be promising. 
Okay. Yes. Fuse. This is what we wanted. You've obtained the fuse. Awesome. Alright. It's time to get out of this cursed place. I wish you could run so badly in this game. All you can do is walk. Painfully, painfully, slowly. Now we just gotta watch we don't get jumps get on the way back. This is when it will happen. Hello? Anybody there? I come in peace. Ah, it's so dark as well, I can hardly see anything. Okay! You see that, guys? That looks like a ghostly woman. She's gone. Alright, good. That was nasty. We're getting out. Screw this. Um, straight back to that fuse box. We're getting power going now. That was horrible just seeing her little eyes peek around that corner. I'll probably have to zoom in to show you properly on the video, but didn't look nice from what I was seeing. Fuse attached. Sweet. Oh my god, that actually scared me. <laughs> my voice then. What the heck, man? Is this the same woman again? There you are. The lights haven't turned on yet, so can you go and flip four of the circuit breakers? Me? I'm leaving. Good luck with your job. Man, I don't know if that's the same woman. I think it might have been. Why are you following us? Alright, I'm going in. We're going to flip four of these, she says. So here's one. I'm glad this isn't a puzzle and it's literally as easy as just flipping four switches. That's two. Imagine we just turn the last one on and it jumps out. That'd be horrible. Right, where's the next one? Here's three. And there's got to be a fourth somewhere around here. Is there? Oh, well, this looks like a fourth one. Hey, the lights have turned on. The person from earlier must have left. I'll confirm it in the surveillance room on this floor. Okay, but can I first do the fire alarm so I don't have to come back into this room? Yes, no abnormality detected. Good. So we're going to leave here. Shut that door. We're going to lock it. And never do we go back in there. Here's the security room. Oh, we got a tape. Another tape. What's going to be on this one? Looks like it's been filmed in the bathroom. We're really lucky. Right, thanks to someone, we can leave early. And she takes responsibility for everything. But what if somebody quits? What? That would be troublesome. If she does, I might end up resenting her. It's not very really nice. Haha, <laughs> you're right. I wonder if this is a story about a woman that was like worked to death essentially, you know? That's who that kind of woman walking about is. She might be like a ghost of someone that used to work here, but she was worked too hard. Kind of like the guy that's working here now. That moment was caught on surveillance cameras in a place like this. I can't believe she's... I'm quitting this job. And that's from Kigo Achigi. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Let's check these security cameras then. All right. Floor one. We're clear. Two. We're clear. Three. We're good. Four, we're good. Five, we're good. Six, oh, your boyfriend is a security guard. Oh, yeah? He's pretty good looking, so I made him mine. Eh, but he's talking a bit, she's talking about us, guys. Wasn't he dating her before? Yeah, everyone knows that. So you basically took them by force? That's a terrible way to say it. Well, I basically won him over with my body. Seriously? Anyway, she was no match for me. I'm more charming, so it was in in inevitable. You're a real devil. I can't read this quick enough. Women are more popular. What the heck? No. The power has gone out. So they're heading to the exit. Oh no, she's fallen down. What the heck? She bashed her head, I think. That's the other woman running away. Oh no. Oh no, guys, she's gonna get caught. 
You have a ghost girl got her, I think. Floor free F. We've got blood on the door now. Oh my god, there's the ghost. Outside our room on camera 5. No. No, 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 no. This is not good. Open the door. Oh, she's gone. Okay. It's kind of like this ghost is, um... Terrorizing women. Who seem to, like... I don't know, be preying on men, like... Maybe men who are in relationships and stuff? I don't know. But certainly something weird's going on. Because that woman was sort of saying how like she was going after a guy who... Well, the security guard is our character, obviously. Um, and that other woman was saying, well, I think he's like married or with somebody, which we saw at the start. She said, I don't care, I'm still like going after him, essentially. I'm trying to break up a happy home. Anyway, we're done, guys. So, we've got bloody footprints as well. Look at this. Running this way. I don't know if we need to go back to floor 3 to check on that woman. No, we can only go to 6. We can't go to 3. We can just go to 6. Alright, we're going up to 6, guys. Floor 6. We're over halfway done now, or just about halfway. Oh, wow. We've got blood all over. Or well, maybe it's just, I mean, it's kind of dark looking. Maybe it's just uh, ink or something. <laughs> Someone spilt their fountain pen everywhere. Hello. Do you want to talk to me? Man, that's kind of like almost like romantic music playing while she's doing this. No, that's definitely blood. Or hey, maybe it's strawberry jam, right? Just clean it up. There's been a jam spillage. She doesn't want to talk to us, by the way. Oh, okay. Precariously stacked chairs. Let's go and check these fire alarms. I am going to also see if we've got any TVs. Oh. The music stops. Why did that happen? She's still there. Right, I'm locking these doors up, so you better have cleaned in here. So I'm not going to unlock them for you. Oh, she's now standing up. Please don't attack us. I swear to God. If you uh if you come for us, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very uncomfortable. Right, we're done. That's all we have to do on this floor? Do we not need to check down here? No, this is just uh, a dead end with blood on it. All right, we're done. That's a quick floor. See you later, I guess. I guess you don't talk much. All right, let's get out of here, guys. We're going to floor seven. See you later. Have a, a nice shift. Floor seven. Okay, this is, um, the switch is missing, so we need to get that, but also, uh, this is very strange. Why would this be looking like this? It's like Silent Hill, guys. We've got the grates on the ceiling. If you guys remember the other world levels in different Silent Hill games, it looks very much like this. Got some, um, police tape there. What's in here? What's in here? Yeah, this isn't normal. <laughs> this is definitely not supposed to be here. Oh god, can I even go through this way? No, it's all locked off. What the heck? That's like the puppet from uh, that movie Dead Silence. And it's floating in the air. This is actually freaking me out. I hate puppets and stuff. Mannequins, all that kind of, you know, uncannily human looking thing. Oh my god. Man, that is not cool. I was just talking about how I hate you guys. Bruh. Like. Seriously. Okay, so. Just. As long as you stay there, I don't mind. As long as you stay there and you don't do anything. This one's just sat up on the ladder. He's like, yay, look how high I am. No. The eyes follow us, guys. 
Why do the eyes have to frickin' follow us? Or I'm leaving you. Screw this room. No, is one walking above us? I swear, if those attack us, I'm gonna freak out and quit. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna rage quit the game. Do we have to go up? Climb. You kidding me? No. What's this? Oh, wait. There's the ghost woman down there, guys. All right, we're going down. Ah, I'm scared. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Good. Is that all that we needed? That one switch? I feel like it might have been. Anyway, I don't want to hang around for any longer than I need to. Let's see if this works. Do we need four more? Seriously? Oh my god, we gotta look for four more of these things. Oh, we gotta go up again. We gotta climb this ladder. I keep getting scared I'm gonna turn and there's gonna be a puppet. There's another switch. I'm getting down. Screw this. Okay. That's two we've got, guys. I think we need... Like, a couple more, right? Oh, we've gotta climb this one. We've got to climb the one he was sat on. Alright. we got to... Oh my god, guys. Why? Why? Developers, please. you got to stop doing this to me. Okay. Now, we, um... We look for the final one. I'm guessing it's here, right? Of course, I was prepared for it. Hello. I'm not even scared of you anymore. I'm getting out of here. I think we've collected all four now. I didn't realise the first time I came through here we needed to, to do that. We're going to deposit these switches. We're going to get out, guys. Here we go. No, my God. Stay there. I'm keeping my eyes on you guys. See you later. Oh! Man, this game is good at scaring me. Because it doesn't jump scare you often. It really builds to it. So when a jump scare comes, it gets you good. I wasn't even expecting that. Soda can. I don't want to go through that door. We got floor 8F. Do we pick up the soda can? No. I'm looking now for another one of those TVs. I want to find out more about this story. Like, what's going on here? Why is this ghost girl attacking seemingly these other women in the building? No abnormality there. Okay. That's good. We don't want the abnormalities to occur. We want to... Finish our shift. Let's turn out the light. Let's close the door. Now, do we turn out the light in here? Is anybody... It's not my fault, but I couldn't do anything. Because they died. Everyone disappeared because of them. I didn't do anything wrong. Everything is their fault. Oh! Hello. Bro. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Oh! Whoa. The jump scares are coming thick and fast now, man. What the heck? Someone just exploding there? <sighs> you know what? I'm locking this up. Right, we gotta check these rooms now. Is anybody here? I'm locking it. No, I'm not locking it. I'm checking it. <laughs> uh, anything on these documents? No. Alright, I don't believe anyone's here, guys. So we're going to shut this up. We've locked it. That's not openable. That's checked. That's shut. That's locked. 
We're done. We're out. That's floor eight complete. Imagine if I turned around and she was in the elevator instead then. That would have freaked me out too much. We're on floor nine, guys. We've only got three more floors now. I actually like this game a lot because, like, we, we know how many floors there are and we're, like, doing one at a time and it's like an adventure. It reminds me a little bit of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Okay. Yeah, the floors are getting, like, more, like, rotten looking every time we go up. Chief Coffee. I don't know what the importance of this coffee is. We keep seeing this coffee brand everywhere. Is that someone in there? Oh, and it's a spinning chair. No. Why did I so casually walk into this room? Bruh. No abnormality. I beg to differ. I'm getting out. Ah, ah. Screw that. Lock this. For God's sake, lock it. Lock this side. Done. Oh, wait. That's locked. Okay, good. I don't care. I want it to be locked. Wait, why is this, like, going so far back? Jeez, man. Why is the sound gone? Why is it gone so quiet? Oh, man. I don't like this game. <laughs> Wait, what is this? It's a button. Do we press it? Right, we've pressed that button. I guess we have to press another one. I'm ready for my heart to be taken. It opens up a new path every time we press a button. I don't understand. Oh, key. Nice. The obtained the emergency exit key. Dear Lord. <laughs> what is happening now? I'm go I'm just gonna get out, guys. Oh! Hello. Do you hurt us? Do you kill us? Guys, I don't know. Does she, she goes. She doesn't attack. Unless that was a fake out. No. That was horrible. We we faced up to her. Do we have to unlock this? Let's lock the rooms first. Okay. We've got to finish our shifts. Well, finish locking these rooms and then we can sort of go and check that one. Not that I want to. I want to see if there's a TV on this floor. You know, we... Oh, God. A dead guy. Oh, he's not dead. He's all, he's okay. He's been knocked unconscious or something. Maybe he's just gone to sleep. Yeah? Crap, I fell asleep. It's already this late. Oh, what's up with you? You keep coming over and over again. You're standing there every time I wake up. We shouldn't be going to sleep on the floor, man. You'll do your neck an injury. Oh, were you here the whole time? Oh, whatever. Do you know where my boss is? Did he leave already? That damn power harasser said he wouldn't leave until everyone else did. I'm leaving too. Alright, and off he goes. You probably want to be outside, to be fair. <laughs> There's a ghost on patrol. Okay, let's... Let's sort this out. No abnormality detected. Okay. I think this is all good. Let's go. Lock it up. Done. I'm turning the light out. Making it even darker for some reason. Okay, we're good. No one's talking to us in that bathroom for a change. Um, we need to lock this. Now, we could take the elevator, but I want to check in this room here. So. Oh. Oh. Holy crap. We can't go down. We can go up. Maybe we have to walk to the next floor. See, that's blocked off now. We're going to have to go through here. Alright, we're on the next floor. We're not even taking the elevator anymore. 
Okay. Weird. Upside down. This is how we're doing things now. An upside down room. I'm going to check that. Keep saying no abnormality, which really <laughs> puzzles me because this is very abnormal to me. Very strange. But never mind. We've done that room. It's checked. Can lock this. Elevator is there. Alright, this is a very similar looking room. It's like a board meeting room or something. That's fine. Alright, let's get out. Lock that up. Is anybody in here? No. Good. I keep checking because I know they want to jump scare me here. I know it. Is anybody in there? No? Good. We need to lock this door. Should be done. Yep, we're done. Right, this room was kind of, uh, or this floor was kind of uneventful. Can we take the elevator again? Looks like we can. It's working. He goes, hello. All right. Oh, the last floor. Is that floor 10? Damn. All right, we're on the last floor, guys. This is it. This is the culmination of everything we've worked towards. Oh, okay. Why are we going down? Doesn't look like we're going up. What the heck? What is happening? Oh god. Oh god. What is that? What is that sound? Man, <laughs> this is so weird. Bloody handprints. Oh. We've got writing on the wall that's kind of moving, but I can't read it because it's in, uh, I think, Japanese. Okay, um... So, is this somebody on the TV? Looks like it. Imagine she crawls out like in the ring or something. That's the woman from earlier, I think. She's walking away. Alright. That's perfectly normal. Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Alright guys, we've got to, I guess, head forward. I, I know none of this is normal. This looks very weird, but uh, I'm kind of just taking it as, uh, you know, well, in my stride right now. Because uh, the game's obviously taking a very strange turn here, and I'm just going to roll with it. So, writing on the wall, maybe Japanese speakers can translate some of that for us. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, because it's very uh, jumbled. Do we just do the normal shift here? I guess so. There's no switch now though. So, can't turn the lights out in those rooms. Anyone in here? Nope, we're good. No one here. Ooh. Okay, we've got a TV and a VHS player. Nothing is displaying. Oh, I think we need to find the actual VHS tape for this TV. What about this? We need a combination. Huh. I wonder if this safe has the, the tape in it. So we need a combination for that safe. Is there a way to uh, work out what the combination would be? Ooh. What the heck is this? Is this a mirror? Oh, obtained a blood-stained lid and we've got a clock face underneath. I think I should be able to clean the stain. So, we need to find some cleaning products, maybe. I don't know. Can't go through that door. Oh, wait, just go to the bathroom, maybe, right? Go to the bathroom, run some water over it. Here we go. 
Easy. Easy puzzle right there. I washed the blood from the lid. There are two lines drawn on it. So it's a clock face, like we thought. So all we have to do is go back to the clock. Place this down. That door just shut on its own. Don't know why. Here we go. Oh. 9060? Is that the code for the safe? 9060? Yes, it was the other way around. We got the tape. Obtained the videotape. Okay, let's play it. In it goes. Nothing is displaying. No K. Oh, we need the cable. Of course we need the cable. Uh, was that new? Was that here last time? Oh my god, guys, what the heck, man? You serious with this? Well, he's got the cable, at least we found the cable, right, guys? <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, I'll shut you back in there, you can uh, enjoy that. Alright, I'm gonna put the cable down. Let's watch this thing. Man, that was nuts. Right, the final tape, I assume. Somebody working again. Well, I assume it's somebody working. Not a lot's happening. Totally worth it, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, that took a creepy turn. A weird, weird noise, but... I don't see anything. The door opening. I kind of got a giggling sound. Computer's powered down. Just trying to put this together as it goes along. Like what? What is going on here? We're in the bathroom now. So maybe that was a girl who everyone made work for them, working really hard late at night, and they went into the bathroom. And uh, I guess the YouTube friendly term is maybe unalived themselves. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, there's a police tape there. I think they got, like we said earlier, I think they just got worked too hard and they fell into, like, um, depression and maybe did something drastic there. And then the ghost haunted the building, terrorizing all the, the people that it dislikes from that day on. I'm guessing, that's my interpretation at least. Yeah, and it was, it was a I... woman. I love. What? I can't stay here anymore. So that was the woman earlier that we saw. Let's get out of here. Unless she just loved the security guard and did something drastic because of that. Um, oh my god! Jeez. Where do we go? Alright, we're going down the... Are you kidding me? Did we die? Um, what? Did we did we literally fall down the stairs or get grabbed? Uh, there's loads of videotapes down here. I think we died. I think we got the bad end. Yeah, that's it. Guys, we got the bad ending, man. That's kind of mad, and now it's like rewinding the entire game on the videotape, like as if it was all being recorded from our perspective. I think the ending was a little bit sort of disappointing there because it ended so abruptly, but I think maybe there is a better ending you can get. I might try and get that. I'm not sure like how you get the better ending though. But I will say the game itself was really cool, like a lot of it was slow paced, just walking around and doing your night shift. But every now and again, something really scary would happen and then that would stick with you and you'd be like, okay, I feel like something else is going to happen pretty soon. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't, but it kept you on the edge of your seat. Like imagine like you guys watching this could tell that I was genuinely like unsettled at certain points just because I didn't know what was going to happen next. It mainly came towards the second half of the game, that stuff. 
but because it was such a slow long build up to it, it worked really well, it really paid off. In terms of being like how I'd rank it among other Chiller's Art games, I haven't played all their games, but I do think this is one of my favourite ones I've played to date, because I actually liked the game design, I liked the way you, each floor brought you like a new sort of challenge to work out, each floor brought you a new enemy type in a lot of ways, or, or something creepy. So definitely was, um, yeah, it was an interesting experimental little game there. I do want to see maybe what the other ending holds in store for us. But uh, I feel like I've, I basically understood most of that game and, and the story and where it went. It's obviously about like a vengeful ghost. We see a lot of that in Japanese horror. Ringu, in, on the Korean side we have stuff like uh, The Grudge. East Asian countries seem to like this sort of paranormal fiction with vengeful ghosts and uh, it's been part of like that sort of Japanese mythology for a long time I think. So it's rewinding all the way to the start now by the way. This is like going all the way back to when we got in the car. So they're arriving once more. This is gonna look terrible on YouTube by the way guys because it's got all these compression like artifacts on the screen and YouTube's not gonna be able to read that properly. But if you can see it properly, it's basically somebody walking back to work, like exactly as we did at the start of the game. Almost like it's like rewound so we can have another try at it. And that was ending one, as you can see on screen. Yeah, definitely interesting. If we go to continue. Alright, so we can select any of the... Um, any of the floors, which are essentially checkpoints. So I can go back to floor 11F, and I can see how we unlock that other ending, maybe. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get the other ending in this video, and then we can properly wrap it up. Okay, guys, so we've just got back to this part of the game, just before the ghost emerges. I think what I've probably missed is something during the final chase scene, because I ran straight for the exit. So this time we're going to have a look around, see if there's anything else you know, that we can find. The only problem is we're going to have the ghost woman chasing us. So we are going to have to, like, try and do it quickly. But here we go. Uh, let's get out of here. So, yeah, we're going to have to have a look around before she appears, I think. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. So we open this door. Yeah, she comes for us. We have to run. Oh! Okay, guys, we've got, we've got a code on the wall there. I didn't even see that last time. Um, so what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to try and lure her around. What I did see there is... She's coming for us. Look, she's there. What I did see is there was a picture, which was the same picture next to our fridge at the start. And if you remember on the fridge, we had the code um, 1023, which was the, the birthday date. So I'm going to put in 1023, see if this works. Okay, that worked. That worked. That worked. So what we've got to do now is work out why that's worked. Okay, we've got to run this way. Go. Haha, <laughs> trolled. Oh, the elevator. The elevator's opened. We can go. We can go. We can go. We're out of there. Okay, <laughs> we escaped. We've done something different. This might be a different ending. I'm glad that code worked because it's the only one that came to my mind when I saw that picture. Yeah, this is ending two. We're in a hospital bed. What? Uh, okay. Can I... This is really disorientating this viewpoint. It actually makes me feel a little bit nauseous. What's going on? Someone's coming over. Oh, it's our daughter, I think. And our wife. Hello. Yeah, we had quite the night. Maybe we were just in the hospital bed because we were so shocked that we, uh... We fainted and we were found by the police or something. I don't know. But, nice to see you guys. Oh, no the stalker, the crazy ghost woman. Ending too. Man, that's a worse ending. It's more depressing because she's just there as well. No! Alright, well that's weird, but that's ending too, guys. You've seen my entire game now. And, um... Yeah, like I said before, very interesting game. I enjoyed it. Ending two was definitely weird and creepy. I think it made it creepier, actually. Because it seemed like we can't even escape to the, you know, the comfort of our family without that woman being around now. Now obviously guys, if you did enjoy this video and this game, as always there's a link to the game below if you want to go check it out and, uh, you know, get your own copy. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave me a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one 
Thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next video.